Set to be set. The red lights are on now. The gates have opened. They're off, and Velago is the last of them to leave. And Vermont Lady is beaten for speed as well. And Sonnen's going to be back there with those also. Groover Shaker amongst the first to bounce away from leading man Friars Fantasia. It'll be Groover Shaker, however, that leads through the first few hundred. Geiger Jim drifting across now. Posied up, running fourth. Going forward, Tribute Amiri and Vermont Lady is pushed up near the rails, and she's improving. Further back, Sonnen and Velago. Now he drops the anchor going to the 950 and just wants to bring Groover Shaker back underneath him. It leads the way by a length and a half. Velago out near the middle of the track goes around them from the back and is going to now look for the lead. 800 left to go. Velago, the last of them away, now in front and now extends to a length. Groover Shaker. Tribute to Mary's over on the outside of Friars Fantasia. Vermont Lady back on the inside of leading man Geiger Gem Son and last of all. It's Velago at the 500 metre mark bringing them to the home corner. Groover Shaker a length and a half off him. Friars Fantasia, he wanted to spit the bit out there and he's off the bridle. Vermont Lady screaming for a run behind them but can't get clear and Geiger gems around them. Velago with a big lead at the top of the running. Velago led down to the 250, about three or four now on Geiger Gem. Friars Fantasia and then Groover Shaker, leading man starting to weave its way through but look at Velago go. It's Velago racing clear. Gee, this has been a great win, a daring ride to come from last and stole it. Velago by three and a half, leading man Friars Fantasia. Vermont Lady is next of all, down towards the inside. The saddle went on Vermont Lady. So again, the misfortune continues. Followed then by Geiger Gem Sonnen, Groover Shaker, and a long last tribute to Mary. Velago first, Lucy Warwick. Dawdled out back last, circled the field, got out near the middle of the course and uh, gathered them up, rolled straight to the front, didn't even stop for a nap on the way past the horse in front, just kept on going. And that was the last that they saw of Velago. Number five, runaway winner, Velago by Delago Deluxe from Double Black Velvet, prepared by Darren McAuliffe for impressive racing, Adam McGrath, H. Money M. Griffiths, and also J. Mast, S. Trigwell, and Lucy Warwick just taking matters into her own hands there. Second placing will go the way of number seven leading man, Peter Hall. Started to work his way through traffic in the stretch. Number six, Friars Fantasia under enormous duress on the corner, but kept on giving. And fourth, number two, Vermont Lady. Clearly, there have been excuses yet again. Four lengths ahead of the margins. Four lengths by ahead. Now, the next of the day, the WA Cup, 3,200 metres, no alterations there. Let's uh, head out to Brittany Taylor. She's quickly gone over to Collar Luce, who's aboard the winner, Velago, coming back. Let's uh, see what was going through Luce's mind there when she decided to hit the go button and take off, circle the field, and then uh, just set sail for the judge, Britt. Great initiative, I thought, Mac, for a horse that loose. He's a quirky character. He's not easy to ride, we know that. Just talk us through the run and uh, how it turned out for you. He's not a fast beginner and today slow out again and just your decision to circle the field along the back. Yeah, he's a horse. He's, um, d -Max said along the way, he's very uh, dicky, difficult to ride um, and he's just one, you can't ride him pretty, which I definitely didn't ride him pretty. Um, but it works good that he jumps slow so it gives you a chance to get outside him and you just really can't touch his mouth as soon as you uh, as soon as you touch his mouth he dish unites and he swaps legs and he gets worried um, so I just put my hands in his neck and let him do what he wanted wanted and he didn't stop and um, he's having a good blow but I guess when you run that hard and you try that hard um, it's, you're gonna feel like that. He certainly didn't. He absolutely gapped them on the straight. I guess you talk there about you can't really be too hard on his mouth and that's something I think you in the past have credited to your mum is that your soft equestrian hands seem to help him. Yeah, well, I think in this case, um, yeah, definitely mum's helped out. Um, but just, you're really just a passenger and you just have to sit still and he does the rest. And today he did the rest. He absolutely gapped them. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Britt. And uh, Darren joins us here. Darren, you've always said that this horse has got plenty of ability and he's starting to put that all together now. So we can turn around and get your better side. Oh, yeah, yeah, which one? Um, yeah, look, he's always um, been a high-class animal. Um, you just got to ride him really unorthodoxly and uh, Lucy's uh, um, worked him out, which is great. And sometimes uh, horses 
have their own different type of traits. But this horse, as you just pointed out, just loves to do what he wants to do, basically. Oh, you just got to keep him on the right leg and uh, just give him room and not ride him cute. And it's, um, he's just not a normal horse, so uh, a bit like the trainer. How far can he go? Well, I've always said he's got stakes level ability. Um, you know, he's got a few little issues other than his uh, brains. But, um, oh, look, we'll just take it one step at a time. And, you know, he's won a couple now and end. So we'll just keep trying to positive reinforcement and, uh, yeah, keep doing what we're doing, I suppose. Say when he steps up to in class and takes on the better horses, can he still do that, what he did today? Or can you work on that and maybe, and maybe he, can, he can improve that side of his game? I would like to think that's possible, but um, having dealt with him, you know, for three years, actually, I mean, I've, I've handled him since he was the day he was born. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's a bit of a different fella, so what I'd say you got to ride him like that, and um, you know, eventually the class will catch up with him, and uh, and he's even ripped a shoe off. I can see there, so that's even even better. But um, look, yeah, well, he'll, you know, we'll just keep riding him the way we're riding him. No changing if it's broke, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, yeah, he'll just eventually sort of stop winning, or you know, get a little bit too hard for him. But uh, yeah, he's a handy horse. Yeah, well done, mate. Thank you. There we go. There is D-Mac and Velaga. That was a big performance. That was a top-class performance, in fact. And um, defeats, what, five, seven, six, and two, the numbers there after the third race. Coming up next is the West Australian Cup.